All right, nerds. Twitch nerds and the YouTube nerds about to learn today. We do a quick diver down and icebreaker tutorial. All right, we got a big old input display here. So no one will ever ask me a question ever again. All right. So. <laughs> there's two ways to do this. You can do it with Canis Mario. You can do it with the bombs. Uh, they're both a little different, but they're mostly the same. Um, okay, so Canis Mario, you want to line up against this railing right here, all right? One dollar says I'll get more questions. Okay, so you line up against this railing, you hold left. You're going to place this Mario block somewhere around here because you want to push it against this railing perfectly, right? So you don't want to place it too far to the left, otherwise it's too far. That works too. Um, as long as it's not too far to the left of this left side railing, you're good. So after you place this block, after being lined up against this, you want to line up against the top of this stair right here. You just hold left and push it, all right? Now, <laughs> need to menu one, or you need to buffer one frame downwards. Whether you do that with a sword, here, it'll make a save state here. They do it with a sword like that, or you can use the menu since you need, you know, whatever, hookshot next. <laughs> uh, you need to menu this one frame down. And then after this, you need to go from down to holding up left. Um, so, uh, if you use a sword buffer or something to do the one frame down, you can do that again if you want. Slash your sword and then hold up left. Um, you can also use your menu, the end of the menu buffer, to, to change to up left as well. Um, so after this, you're gonna hold left and slash your sword, and then hold up left again. And then you're in. Then you can dash out this room. If you're checking these chests, I usually keep my sword out and pick up the pot so that I don't spin attack. Alright, so yeah, you can use the sword method. You can also use the pause method, which you hit down and then start one after the other, basically. And then you need a hook shot, and then after I hit start, I'll hold up left. And that does it all for you. Ta-da! Alright. It's bad about the spin attack. Uh, so... You use this sword, uh, <laughs> hold on. Um, you release the spin attack, you can't move. So I'd rather take the, like, the two tiles of slow moving to pick up the pot over the half second of non-movability. If you're, if you're just checking these chests, it's probably a little better to pick this up that you don't have that non-moving time. No, not moving is just slow. You can re release the spin attack if you want, but <clears throat> but that's just talking about um, opening the chest. If not, you can just dash out or walk out, whatever you want to do. Um, okay, so now let's do the other setup. There's a bomb setup as well. So for this bomb setup, um, you don't want to place it too far left. You don't want to place it too far right either. Um, it's also slightly different lineup. So I usually use the top of Link's hat. You can see there's like the, the black line, the very top of Link's hat. I want that to be touching the bottom line of that stair. You can find another setup, the visual cue if you want, but that's the one that I use. Um, it's not flush. It's not like, you know, overlapping it. It is one pixel below it. Like so. Did they ban icebreaker? No. Why would I be doing an icebreaker tutorial if they banned it? <laughs> Anyways, so you place the bomb. Jump in the water. And you kinda... <laughs> here, I'll make another save state here. So I place the bomb, as I line this up. Jump in the water. Uh, after you jump... Well, that one didn't work. The, the bomb's not far enough to the left. 
So after you jump in the water, you uh, you hold down right at first, and then basically like right after you start moving down right, you just swap to just right. And then after the bomb explodes, you just change from right to left and up. And that's it. It's pretty easy. And then, um... Ah, oh, that's not gonna work. Yeah, the bomb method hadn't been, um, had not been found initially. But okay, so let's do, um, let's do the left side, uh, diver down as well. Why am I here? Oh, first key pot. Hold on. Bad save state. Main hub. This is what I want. Okay, so this left side diver down is only doable if you already have the hook shot and if you're planning on doing left side. So you need to get that small key so you can open this door first. Alright. So this room is slightly different. You're still gonna do all this, uh, but you're gonna want to place a bomb pretty close to this switch. Okay. So you do this normally, you flood the key, oh no! You're gonna place a bomb next to the switch and just sit in the doorway, all right? So you're gonna to wanna to transition after the bomb explodes but before the switch gets triggered. Okay, like so. It's pretty lenient. Uh, the switch takes a while to actually trigger. Um, so I actually don't know how to do Samaria here. It involves uh, jumping into the water as well. And I'm just better with the bomb here. Um, so, we're just gonna use the bomb. Same thing. Jump in, hold down right, swap to right quickly, and you just walk up here, and then the bomb, because all these rooms are loaded at the same time, uh, the bomb still triggers that switch once the room is reloaded, and then you can just walk back up the stairs and jump right in. Easy peasy. Yeah, it could be the same as, as this, potentially. But, uh, yeah, I don't know it. It's not worth it. <laughs> You'd already have a bomb out here anyways. So it's probably slightly faster to do with the bomb because it's one less menu. Why do you need the hookshot? Uh, you need to get the small key in that room beforehand. If you don't have the hookshot, you have to go straight left, which means getting this key before any of that stuff happens. So there'd be no use for it. Why not just, not just walk to the left to the stairs? Because there's the the blocks down there. So when you when you do this uh, when you do this diver down, uh, it's putting you on that layer that's down below. So you you can't walk this way because the blocks are here. If you weren't actually on this lower layer, there'd be no way to get that key anyways. The only reason it works. Um, yeah, so because you need to place a bomb in this room already, it's going to be faster to do the lower one with the bomb anyways. Um, okay, let's do, uh, let's do Ice Palace real quick. Uh, Ice Conveyor. No, dude, what are these save states? God. Fine, we'll go from the entrance. Alright. <laughs> Alright. Going through Ice Palace, just like normal. La -di da da da. Yeah, these are the AD save states. Okay, anyways, do this like normal. No big deal. Oh, I'm running out of time. I'm running out of time! <laughs> okay, so ideally you kill a couple of these guys. It'll make the, the second trip in here easier. If you have Tempered Sword, that spin attack is fine. If not, uh, I usually pull out the hook shot there. 
just to kill some of the penguins. All right, so you need to make sure you hit this switch. Hitting this switch is very important, okay? You double back here. I'm gonna pick up this pot. I usually start my dash as the Annie Fairy is bumping that bottom uh, pillar, basically. I'll start my dash. Um, okay, so this one is a little different. This one also requires Canis Maria. There is a luck-based way to do it with a net and a fairy in a bottle, but I don't care to learn it because I would never go for that anyways. <laughs> so, all right. So you need to, to menu one frame to the left here, or buffer one frame to the left. Uh, my visual cue for this is Link's shadow is poking into that light blue part of the doorway, uh, that, that first pixel. And you, it's pretty easy to tell. I use a menu here as well to Samaria, just like that. So out of this menu, I'm going to be holding down right. You're seeing that Link is running straight to the right, and he's not, like, moving down at all. And you can tell by the input display, I am holding down right. So from here, I'm going to use the Canis Mario block and let go of down right after I use it. Here, you need to buffer one more frame to the left, because the next item I need is hammer in every situation, pretty much, in Ice Palace. You're going to need the hammer next. Um, whether you're go-moding it to Cold Stair, you need the hammer to get to the boss. Whether you're checking the chest, you need the hammer for the next room to get a chest. So, I use another menu here. Left, one frame, and menu, like so. I need a hammer, and then I hold down out of this menu. That's all you gotta do. It's real easy. So what this does is... Puts you over here at the big key chest. You go this way. You gotta get this chest, do this like normal. The only thing you don't do here is you don't pull the tongue. Never pull the tongue. Worthless. Get that chest. <laughs> um. What? Then you're here. And then, um, so this just puts you in this room. So you're doing right side. Initially, you're skipping Ice Palace Bomb Jump. You're skipping the conveyor room, which is probably one of the most difficult rooms in Ice Palace. To actually optimize. You're skipping the five penguin room, which can really suck depending upon your items. Uh, and it's just like a much easier full clear of Ice Palace. All right, that's it for my t my tutorial. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and dig that bell. <laughs>